What's the meaning of life? It was a question always bothered me when I was a kid. So I did this personal project to set up four things to share with you the four stages of how I discovered the meaning of life. In this video, I am going to show you seven images. Together, there I will share with you seven tips of using the off-camera flash. So let's get started. Did you guys ever have this light bulb moment? I mean, enlightenment. For me, one of the most important moments is that in my younger age, all of a sudden, I realized that being richer doesn't necessarily make me happier. My life is fading away like the sun, and I want to use my time to chase the true meaning of life. That's why I create this thing to symbolize my choice. It was a 37 degree super hot summer afternoon. The scene was extremely contrasty with harsh sunlight everywhere. I had to 2.5 stop down underexposed ambient light to retain the highlight details, especially in the sky. And I used the strobe to lead the model as my main subject to be the brightest parts of the image. In this shot, I want to show that I came along a long way to my enlightenment moment. So I used a wider angle zone at 35 millimeters to show the path. Move to shot two. I want to take a close up in the same scene for the storytelling. The sand is like the smallest elements. Yes. We are all composed of smallest elements and we are every, we're all, we're all going to die. We're all fading away. It's like the life. So I'm just hoping to show something like that. Cool. Yeah. It is a close up shot. To me, beautiful skin is essential. Godox produced lots of excellent light modifiers to match with its strobes, like 8400 Pro and 8600 Pro. One of my go-to toys is the foldable 80cm parabolic softbox. Comparing with a traditional softbox, it provides a more focused light beam to maximize the light output, yet it still produces soft even light. To me, its light quality is much like a beauty dish. And check out how beautiful the light is falling on her face. Maybe it's the money, the name and the fame or something else. I realized that by leaving those unimportant things behind, I get to enjoy the true freedom and the freedom leads the path to happiness. In short three, to show that the model couldn't wait to get out of her old life, to enjoy the freedom, I want to use the jumping gesture as a homage to Richard Avedon's jump portrait at 1957. In this case, a powerful strobe with superb high-speed sync performance is necessary to freeze the motion. I use one out of 800 seconds I find it is a sweet spot to freeze the motion yet without losing too much power because of the hypersync. Freedom is about having a choice to enjoy every beautiful moment in life. In the shoot, we were so lucky because something incredible just happened. The sun finally came out of the cloud to shine through the entire scene and make everything romantically gold, which is perfect. So I said, great. I have to shoot into the sun. Traditionally, people would do a silhouette with this kind of scene. I think, sure, you can do it for a safe shot. But you know what? With a power strobe like 8400 Pro, we can achieve something totally different, if not better. We can lit up the model from distance away. The sunset, the sands, we can capture the entire scene still with the model and the fabric being well lit. Short 5 is another half-body portrait. I love using the 35mm zoom range to create this interesting yet not disturbing distortion for a more dramatic look. But remember that your light has to work with the field you deliver. I choose Rembrandt light rather than conventional butterfly light. 
to deliver a sense of mystery and also exaggerate the dramatic atmosphere in the scene. It could be I am aware, but I believe that the death makes us cherish life more. So I dragged a boat full of flowers for hundreds of meters in the desert. So much trouble just to use it to symbolize all the beautiful moments in our life. And the lamb skull obviously is used to symbolize the death. In short six, during the time we were setting up the boat and flowers, we missed the last sunlight. You know what? We just decided to be spontaneous, to create the sunlight on our own. So I used 8400 Pro to backlit with full CTO to simulate the sunlight. The trick here is that a little sunlight bleeds into the wide open aperture. Use long focal lens would make the whole scene more believable. It was super dark, and we still have this one last short seven to make. The end of life, maybe also a new journey to the next world. Okay. All right. So I'm using two seconds shutter to freeze Akira a bit to deliver the natural look, but still we can freeze the subject out of slow shutter. Hi guys, here's the end of my video. I hope my lighting tips and story were interesting. If there could be any help to you to create your own project, that would mean so much to me. My name is Alice. I will see you in the next video. All right, let's talk about the freezing the motion capability of Godox. What do you think, Naomi? I thought it was fantastic when you were um, shooting Akira when she was dripping the sand and captured that absolutely so sharp and so perfectly. Um, and then the, the other shot that you're doing where she was jumping um, and we had full sun daylight and the lights are powerful enough to, to freeze her in, in, the, in the scene without the sun affecting um, what you could do. We had no we had no filters on to stop down, reduce the amount of light inside the lenses. We had it was all just done using the lights themselves. So yeah. Oh cool, thanks. Cool. Anything to add, Judy? You know what, Aries, I've had a fantastic day. You did such a great job and you've shown us how to use our lights outside. It's just been wonderful. So I just wanted to thank you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>